Hey New Hope fam, hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. We kicked off a new series this Sunday over the book of James and we'll be posting short devotional videos to help you dig in a little deeper. Before I get started, I want to ask you a question. What's the first thing you do when you run into a trial, a hardship, or a challenge? Just take a minute to think about that. I would say in my case, I either try to fix and resolve the situation on my own, or if that doesn't work, you know, I'll go to God and say, God, get me out of this right now. And in either situation, I realize it doesn't work out the way that I expect it to. And that's what we'll be talking about this morning. So if you have your Bibles, open them up to James chapter 1. I'll be reading from verse 2 through 4. Consider it all joy, my brothers and sisters, when you encounter various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces endurance, and let endurance have its perfect result, so that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. Honestly, when I read that passage, it kind of makes me cringe because I'm like, James, seriously? Like, how do you expect me to have joy? Can you be a little bit more empathetic? I'm going through a nightmare right now. That's not possible. Don't you see my pain and my tears? And that's exactly how we respond when we're in the middle of a storm. But James is coming to us. He's coming to us like an older, wiser parent. And he's saying, you know what? I know that this too shall pass. You're going to make it out. I'm cheering you on. But I want to give you some advice. And that advice is when it's all over, you can either come out of this trial, temptation and test, angry and bitter. You can, we all know those people that are angry, right? Um, angry at everything around them, at God, at life, at themselves, at other people, or you can come out of this trial looking more like Jesus. As believers, I believe that's our goal in life, to be made into the image of Christ, to grow and mature so that in all areas we can reflect his heart and his attitude. Um, one of the, the characters in the Bible that has gone through the hardest stuff is Paul. And in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 10, Paul says, Our hearts ache, but we always have joy. There's this sorrow and joy that coexist. He's saying physically, I'm battered and broken. I'm exhausted. I can't take it anymore. But when I put on my spiritual glasses, I begin to see things in a new perspective and my attitude shifts. Those things that I thought were setbacks now become opportunities. You see, God never dismisses our pain, but he also never wastes our pain either. It's producing within us a character. Um, just think about, we, I look back at hard times that I've been through, I'm like, man, in it, it was a nice nightmare, but now I am so thankful for what it revealed to me, how it strengthened my faith, and how it revealed to me new and different um, ways of knowing Christ, of relating to him. So that's just what I want to encourage you with today, that by God's grace, whatever you're going through right now, you can either come out better or bitter. Remember that. Pray with me. Lord, we just thank you. You are so, so, so good. And we're in uncertain times right now, but I pray that you would give us eyes to see things with a different perspective, a different mindset. Help us to know you more as we're walking through this trial. Whatever it is, Lord God, that you would be with us, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. We have joy. We have peace. We have everything because we know you and you love us, and you are walking with us through it. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. We have a couple questions for you that you can journal through throughout the week, and I'll post a link to that on this video. 